Hey guys, it's Hannah again, and we're back to Pokemon Fire Red. So let's get started. Uh, episode 10. Wow, I can't believe we're already on the 10th episode already. I am so redundant. So yeah, last time we beat Misty. Um, and yeah, we left the gym all excited and stuff. And yeah, I went and... Well, from the PC that I was switching out Pokemon because well actually you can't see because they're not my party oh please load you can't see because they're not my party but let's see if we can find them in here well that yes them that's right because we did get more than one uh, load please thank you we got an Oddish And we also, where is it? We also got an Abra. Like, in between episodes. We didn't do this last episode. So yeah, Abra sleeps for 18 hours a day. So. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and let's get going over in this direction because actually in the episode last time we found a way to get um, outside of Cerulean City uh, if you look at the bottom of the of the city there's a little tree but um, you would need cut to open that we don't have the HM for cut yet so yeah don't run over that fence or you'll have to go all the way back around um, I always forget. Oh yeah, now I remember what's oh, pfft, more cut. Okay, we're not going down there because we can't. But if we go down this way, we go past the city limits, and this is the tree where if you have cut, you can get through here. Um. So yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's go, let's go down here. There's nothing interesting on the sides, but if we go through here, we run into some tall grass. Let's see if we can find a Pokemon in here. Uh, apparently not. Oh, yes, we do. Please let it be the new one. Nope, nope, it's another Oddish. Okay, well, uh, Pikachu's not the right one to go up against this, especially since it's level 15. It's gonna have poison powder. So, Ivysaur. Sorry, I've been having a cough again today, so. Okay, so I just use a sweet scent. That's not so bad. And so we are going to use Tackle. Okay, uh, yeah, one minor problem with this is that it takes three hits. Uh, because we're not getting over half of its HP down. But it, it won't take much longer. We could probably beat it even with Razor Leaf in the next hit. So... Come on, please load. Okay... And that's over with. Uh, probably should have run from that. But there actually is a new Pokemon in this route that I have not gone and caught yet. Uh, it's called Meowth. If you haven't seen the anime, you might not know what it is. But uh, it's like a cat, uh, which is why it's called Meowth. Uh, but yeah, this building here, we're not going to use this at all. But I'm just going to show you what this is. Oh. Wait, is he? Okay, no, I just stepped forward. So this is the Pokemon Daycare. We're not going to use this at all because I prefer to train my Pokemon the old-fashioned way. <laughs> so, okay. Now, actually, let's show you what goes on in here. If you try to walk through here, this policeman will stop you. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait there. The road's closed. <laughs> 
So yeah, the guards are thirsty and they won't let you through. So instead, we if we look at this, underground path from Cerulean City to Vermilion City. And let's go through here. And then there's this girl. If you did not find the less common Nidoran species, well, gender, this girl's the one to talk to. Hi, do you have a Nidoran boy? Want to trade it for my Nidoran girl? No, because one, we don't have it with us. Two, we have Nidorina. <laughs> That's too bad. Maybe too bad for you, but basically, that girl will have come from the opposite game that you're playing. I think that's the idea. So yeah, this is a long, just, little thing to run through. But, it's not so bad. There are also some hidden items here, but I don't know exactly where they are. So, yeah. Then, this person, people often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Basically what I was just saying. Okay, good. It's only been six minutes. And now we're here. I forgot to look up what Pokemon are here, but I guess we'll find out on our way through. Actually, there are some trainers along here. Mm, yeah, let's battle a few. Oh, there's a double battle down there. Mm -hmm. There aren't many bugs out here. Right. <laughs> also, the double battle I mentioned below, uh, down on this route... Um, that actually is a double battle, not like what I thought the other episode. I was gonna say the other day, which would have still worked, but... Oh well. You know what I mean. So, a Weedle... Mm. Let's try to get Pikachu to beat this one. Let's use Slam. And you missed. Oh, please don't be poisoned. It is the most annoying thing to be poisoned. Okay. Slam, please hit, please hit, thank you. Oh yeah, one hit KO. And we level up. Caterpie, yeah, let's switch. Let's work on Pidgeotto's level. Pretty close to leveling up. Okay. So let's use Gust. You might also notice that a few of my Pokemon have different moves. That's because even though I wasn't really trying to level up and stuff, it still happened while looking for Abra. But that's fine. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to use Whirlwind much at all. So let's use Weedle. No, let's stick with this. Uh, because Whirlwind basically forces the opponent to switch out or ends a wild battle. Um, with Pikachu, it had learned Slam. I don't know if we had that in the previous episode or not, but we will be using that quite a bit. I'm uh, not sure if it's on its final set of moves. I don't have my list with me, but I know that um, I remembered enough to know that we were using it this far. Okay, so level 21, yay. Kigo. No, you're kidding. I think um, Meowth is also on this route, so at one point I might just come here and get it. Uh, let's see. We didn't really get hurt in that battle, so... It's going to be a double battle, so not really a reason to switch out. Mm, but why not? I, I feel like it. Okay. Excuse me. Whoa, sorry, I dropped my computer a little bit. I mean, I wasn't sitting anywhere high up, so it wasn't that bad. I'm on the floor. But, <laughs> sorry. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Oh, no, they're separate? What? Come on, double battles, people. Picnicker Nancy would like to battle. Uh, she sent out Rattata. I seriously thought that we'd finally get a double battle here. Okay, so let's use Razor Leaf. 
Uh, use quick attack, but no big deal. Whoa! Okay, critical hit. That explains it. Okay. So that was still pretty quick. That's good. And Pikachu. I don't think we have anything really good against Pikachu, so let's just stick with Ivysaur. Mm, we'll use Razor Leaf. I know that Electric is not very effective on Grass, so... I mean, I know Grass isn't super effective on Electric, but I, I was almost certain it would at least be normally effective. What am I saying? It would be normally effective. You, I'm not good with words, but level 26. Ugh, I hate losing. Me too, honestly. That, that's why I felt the need to uh, test the battle with Gary before I actually recorded it. So yeah, let's do you. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. And Camper Ricky would like to battle. And he sent out a Squirtle. He has a starter. But we also have a starter, and we have uh, the one with an advantage to him. I don't know if it always plays that way. I don't think it does, but anyway. Let's use Vine Whip. We haven't used that in a while, so. Oh my gosh, it survived! I got overconfident! Wow, I got overconfident. I mean, just honestly, I do think I'm that good. I would be able to one hit KO most Pokemon that I have a type advantage on. But I mean, like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, another bug catcher. Let's go. Go to Pidgeotto. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Bug catcher Elijah would like to battle. And he sent out Butterfree. We have one of those. Okay, so let's go Pidgeotto. I was about to make a pun, but I'm not going there. <laughs> I can't believe I was even considering it. I don't do a lot of puns and jokes. <laughs> the few times I do, they're pretty horrible. <laughs> I guess, put in the comments what's the best and worst joke you've ever done. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You're too good. I don't know what my reaction to the comments will be in this episode. But I, I guess let's try it. <laughs> Are my Pokemon weak or am I just bad? Which do you think? Uh, I think I'm just good. Bye. <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, I think there kind of is a way to avoid the girl on top, but yeah, I don't think you can avoid the guy on the bottom. I don't think this is a double battle either, but if it is, that would be great. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Yeah, not a double battle. Picnic or Isabel would like to battle, and she sent out Pidgey. How far are we? 14 minutes. <laughs> Let's go Pidgeotto. Okay, well, we had the advantage here, uh, based on the level. Uh, let's just tackle. Yeah, I thought so. I figured tackle would have more power. I mean, not just because of level, but also, I'm pretty sure it's 
slight it has a slightly higher base power than quick attack does so it's about to use Pidgey again now let's let Pidgeotto get maybe another level how far are we let's let it get close to another level at least it, it might actually level up since she has a third Pokemon pretty much the same as last time Okay. Oh, yay! Do we learn a new move? Any new moves? I can't speak. Another Pidgey. Yeah, let's switch this time. Pikachu, your turn. Okay, Thunder Shock. Okay. And we beat her. Things just didn't work. Because you're a Pidgey trainer. Why? Okay, let's get him. Huh? You want to talk to me? Actually, I kind of want to just get to the Pokemon Center. Not that we really need it, since we're not that badly hurt. But, okay. Camper Jeff sent out Spiro. Let's go Pidgeotto. Okay. Tackle. You missed! Ah. Not that it's really a, uh, something that can turn around the battle, but it's annoying. It wastes time. We got half an hour and we got a whole lot of lag. Uh, I remember when I was recording this series the first time, well, sort of trying to, back before I realized I had a YouTube channel, um, I was trying to limit the episodes to 15 minutes. Can you imagine how long it would take to do anything at that rate? <laughs> okay, so eradicate. Uh, let's just switch because, I guess. Oh wait, we have Devil Kick. Let's do it, let's do it. Pow pow. I totally forgot that Nidorina had Double Kick for a minute. Use Quick Attack, but that's fine. And he's poisoned. That sounded evil. <laughs> pow pow. Oh wait, pow. Okay. Pow. It wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Oh well. I guess that's more of the rate that Double Slap goes at. Yay, she leveled up! She's almost up to level 20 with the rest of us. <laughs> this stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. Okay. We never really went through the Pokemon on this route. Let's go through one encounter. Please, let it be a Meowth. Please, please, please. Yes! This is a Meowth. And so let's switch out to something that would be better for capturing. Let's see, does Butterfree have its powder moves? I don't remember, because I didn't really train Butterfree up. It, it does have a few of them, so let's go with Butterfree. 
shift okay that's fine we don't want to attack you okay so Meowth has this really cool ability called pick up and I really want that because it'll find random items as uh, I think like a 10% chance every time you go into a battle sorry I'm repositioning my legs because one of them's asleep um, yeah, like a 10% chance of, um, picking up a random item, uh, in between battles and stuff. Um, let's just keep using Stun Spore, even though it'll fail, because I don't want to kill this thing. We still have nine minutes, so. Nine minutes plus a little bit, because we really... We just about always go over 30 minutes. We just stay under, usually stay under 35. There might have been one time when we were just over 35. We always stay under 40, so. As far as I know, I mean, I don't think I uploaded a 40 minute video before. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I was thinking like at some point in time did I do that. No, I mean, my playlists might count if they were all one video like I would like them to be. But since they're not, uh, no, not really. But definitely with the sleepover vlog, because there's that one video that is 20 minutes long of us playing Mafia. Uh, that was fun. It's always fun to play Mafia with them. I'm sorry, I'm still repositioning because I can't decide how I want to sit. <laughs> Uh, my friends are just so much fun. I, we, I, I want, like, a group name for, for that group that I was at the sleepover with. There are actually a few other girls that'd be in, in that group. Um, like, Jasmine, for example, she was off in either Europe or Germany. I, I keep forgetting which one it was. Um, but yeah, she, she went on a trip. And that's why she wasn't at the sleepover. Usually, uh, you, you know how you could hear uh, my friend Erica saying pew 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 pew, and it, it was so great. Stephanie's like, okay, shots have been fired. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> Normally that would be Jasmine, but Erica, you did a great job of standing in for her. Oh, it'd be so much fun to have you both do it together. <laughs> Oh, I, I want that to happen. I want everyone to get together. We can all do this stuff. Do a bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah. We're in the red. And he's poisoned. Let's do this. Finally. Now I'll finally have a Pokemon with pickup. Someone that can learn payday. Meowth is the only Pokemon that can learn payday. But. Stay, or you will die, and it's not my choice. I was gonna say it's not my fault. It is my fault that it's poisoned. But we got it! Oh, yay! I love having a Pokemon with pickup because, um, it, like I said, it gives you more items. You can even pick up, uh, the hidden power TM. All it does is sleep during the daytime. Okay. Yeah, let's not uh, nickname any of the Pokemon. I mean, okay. Actually, if you guys come... Oh, dang it, no. If you guys come up with nicknames and you put them in the comments, I will gladly nickname the Pokemon once we get to the name raider. So, please, like, do stuff like that. It would be so much fun. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. Um... I'm not doing this now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you have nicknames for any Pokemon that we already have, or even ones that we don't, that we'll catch in the future, then please put them in the comments. I, I do want to hear your suggestions. Yeah, um, guys, one other thing. 
please comment on the videos. I want to hear from you. I feel like no one's watching the videos except for Nicole because she talks to me, like, in real time when I'm not recording and stuff. Um, I feel like no one's watching my videos aside from that. So please, like, I don't know, comment. Uh, a like would be nice, but you don't have to like, just, I, I want to hear your comments, it would be fun. Like, uh, on a few of the videos I've put, um, stuff like, uh, how's your day, if something's wrong, what can I pray for, stuff like that, uh, and let me know what you got on this quiz, and no one's done it. <laughs> Oh, that's- wait, Melody keeps watching. I just haven't seen your videos in a while, so I, I can't believe I forgot. Wow, sorry. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I know that Melody is watching, too. Uh, so thanks so much, you two, for watching and stuff. But yeah, uh, you two, please comment, too. Uh, I, I keep saying, too. Oh, there's also one other thing. In- in-game. Um... We have, like, a, a ton of Pokemon now, so let's go to Professor Oak's PC. Would you like to have your Pokedex rated? Yes. The amount of progress you've made on your Pokedex is 46 Pokemon seen and 28 Pokemon owned. Your Pokedex gives you... I guess it's 30 that we have to get before he changes what he says. Unless he changed it since last time, but... I, I want the EXP share. It would make training Pokemon like Abra and Magikarp so much easier. Why does this guy look like he's from a Pokemon? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the reason why poison annoys you so much. Because your Pokemon like will still take damage while you walk. That's what the little screen pixelation thing's about. But yeah, this is Vermilion City. How much time do we have here? Three minutes. Um, so yeah. This is Vermilion City. I uh, will explore this for this episode. Oh, fisherman! This is what we want to talk to. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Just say yes. Whether you do or not, just say yes. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. <laughs> we got an old rod. And, um, yeah. Fishing is the way of life. It is... It is like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. So yeah, uh, you know how we had to pay $500 for Magikarp earlier? Um, well now, I'm not gonna do it right now. But now we can get Magikarp for free, aside from having to buy Pokeballs. Did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? I don't know boat speak, so if that's like a special word, I don't know. We're careful about pollution here. We've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Okay, then. And this is one of the few overworld sprites for Pokemon. Macha, uh, Macha is talking. Guo. Go, go, go. Uh, a Machop is stomping the land. The, yes. A Machop is stomping the land flat. I read it right, and I thought I didn't read it right. Okay, can you please move, Machop? Please, thank you. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land to lay the foundation. He missed a spot. Right here. Right here, he missed a spot. <laughs> I'm being weird. <laughs> okay. Um, there's not a whole lot to do here, but there's a few things. Hi, do you have a Spearow? Want to trade it for my Farfetch'd? Huh. Not right now because we don't have it with us, but let's do it. Let's go trade a Pokemon. And then I can show you that. Okay, so I guess we won't be exploring Vermilion City much. Oh, whoa, 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 wrong button release. Um. So yeah, uh, uh, I, I guess we won't be exploring it much. But I won't do anything like super important. I'll go and catch any Pokemon that we missed. And there is a cave up ahead with a new Pokemon or two. Uh, well, one evolution line. It has both Pokemon from the evolution line. But yeah. I'll probably go catch from that. 
and I wonder, does Meowth have an item? We were in a battle, weren't we? No, we were not. What was I thinking? <laughs> okay. Hurry up, please. We are about to get a Pokemon that we cannot find in the wild, as far as I know. And... Yeah, uh... In number order, it is the first Pokemon that does not evolve. So, I thought it was kind of cool when I noticed that. So yeah, hi, do you have a Spearow? Want to trade it for my Farfetch'd? Sure. Okay, so our Spearow is level 3, so our Farfetch'd is going to be level 3. But let's see what we got. Spearow will be sent to Elissa. Bye-bye, Spearow. And this is what the original system looked like for the, the Game Boy, I think so. Um, the system that this game was on. And there they go. They're being swapped and Farfetch'd is coming down to us while Spiro is on its way to Elissa. Elissa sent over Chiding. I don't know why this nickname, but we have a far-fetched. And the lag in the music is so weird. Take good care of Chiding. <laughs> okay. And that's a far-fetched for you. Thank you. So yeah, I guess that's a good place to end this episode. Um. <coughs> so yeah, we did our first Pokemon trade and stuff like that and there's the gym but we need cut to get into the gym so you know what we're probably gonna do next time <laughs> I don't know for sure but probably we're gonna go find the cut TM HM HM okay so yeah uh, I guess that's it and I'll see you guys later once this saves do 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 so yeah, comment nicknames, and uh, I think the other thing I said was the best and worst joke you've told. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!